All right, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a transmission and the subframe from this 2008 Chevy Malibu. Here's my new slash used transmission. This one's I got from the junkyard, and it was from an 08 Saturn. It's a 2.4 liter, and it only has 16k on it. I paid. It says it used to be 400 bucks, but I paid about 300 bucks for it, and it comes with a 30-day warranty. And this is how the transmission looks. This is a 2.4. This is the automatic one. And this is how it looks. So first, you gotta remove your subframe. I already removed mine. It's right here. And this is your subframe. And I'm just gonna show you how I did it, just by showing it to you. So I'm underneath the car. I mean, obviously, you gotta jack up the car and get it as high as possible you can. And all right, so you gotta remove your wheel. You gotta remove your. This is your lower ball joint, your stabilizer link, and you gotta remove your uh, uh, steering, the the tie rods. So the tie rods, your lower control arm right here, the where the ball joint goes, and the uh, stabilizer links. You gotta remove all that. You gotta free it from. And here is it all right here. See, this is all free already. So your tie rod, the ball joint, here's your control arm. This is the lower one. And your stabilizer link that goes to your uh, stabilizer bar. So, I'm underneath the car. This, that's your radiator fence. And this is your first mount right here. That one that, one that goes on the subframe. You got to remove this bolt right here. There's going to be a bolt right here. You got to remove it. And it's going to be on your subframe. So that's going to be free. Then, there's going to be a bunch of plastics here. Right here, in the front. There's, it's going to be covering this bolt. You got to remove the plastics on this side. This is the driver's side. And on the passenger side, right here. You got to remove the plastics here that's, that's covering these bolts. And then this, right here, this is your rear mount. This is by the firewall. This is where the, behind the transmission. You got to remove these three bolts right here. That's the three bolts you got to remove. This is where the transmission is going to be. So you got to remove these three bolts so it can be free from the transmission. All right, then you got to remove your steering shaft. That's your steering shaft right here. And make sure your steering wheel is straight. So this is how I removed it. This is how it's, it's going to be. So this is how it looks right here. That's your steering shaft. And, and this is your power steering rack. This is where this attaches to. That, that shaft slides in here. That little bolt that holds it, 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 you just remove it and you can slide it down. You'll be able to slide it down and you can free this uh, shaft. Next. All right, so your power steering, it mounts to your subframe right here. See, mine's removed. The bolts go in the bottom. But I just realized we don't have to remove these bolts. Th this could stay here. Because when you drop the subframe, the power, the, the steering rack will drop with, um, with the subframe. So you just have to remove this steering shaft. There's one little bolt that goes in here. When I showed you over there, there's one little bolt that goes on here. It's, I think it's 11 millimeter. You just got to uh, remove it completely and slide this out. Yeah, but you can actually leave this one and this one. You can leave that off. We, we don't have to remove this. So this, this could stay there. Then your sway bar stays with the... Uh, um, it could stay with the subframe. So I left the uh, control arm, uh, the power steering, and the sway bar with the with the subframe so the whole thing dropped with the subframe and the subframe it just goes there's that cover right there there will be a giant bolt here and there will be two bolts right here there's two bolts right here so you gotta remove the, all those four bolts and the whole thing will start going down and this is the rear of my transmission. You see those three bolts that I was talking about behind the transmission? Right here. That's off too. 
So this is how, this is the rear of the, the subframe. That's the front of the subframe. And this is the rear mount that I was talking about. Yeah, just literally I'll screw these three bolts and remove this steering shaft. And then once you remove the, this main bolt, over there and over there, you can see that's my main bolts right here, they're sticking in here. Once you remove that, the whole thing will drop. And when you drop it, make sure you support your radiator, because your radiator doesn't really have support, because this will go onto your subframe. These two uh, plastic things. Yeah, make sure you support that too. I have it supported, and then, this jug is just loose. I just put it here for now, because I'm gonna work on the transmission tomorrow. So I just put it there for safety for now, but but the whole thing just holds on its own for now. It titter totters, but there's a mount on on the main frame, on the right there, and there's one on on this side too. So your your uh, transmission and motor still holds on the mounts. All right, so I got my transmission off. You can see the torque converters right here. And this is my uh, old transmission right here. I already got it off. And this is how it looks underneath the car when it's off. So I left this mount on. This is the front mount. And the rear mount, see it's off? That stayed on the subframe. Then on top, this is the top of the transmission. So when you look on top of the hood, like from the inside, I'm about to show it to you. You can see I removed the battery. You don't have to remove the battery, but I did. And then I removed this reservoir here too, which goes right here. I removed it. And you can see the transmission is gone from the car. Also, I removed this mount, that's that's on the bottom of the battery. This right here is below the battery. I uh, unscrew it from here. So the mount stayed on, on the car. And there's that rear mount right there. That's the one that I showed you. And while the transmission was still in the car, I removed my axles too. So my axles are out and my axles are right there so then on top of here I was able to disconnect this connector right here also I forgot to mention you gotta remove this plug it's on the transmission you just squeeze it and pull it out and right here there's gonna be two lines there's a bolt, a nut right here, you just loosen the nut and you pry the, the thing out and you'll be able to slide it out, some fluid will, will leak out. There's those two hoses that I just showed you right here, that's the two hoses that I just pulled out. And here's that connector I told you about, you squeeze the top and you can slide it out from that part right there. And for the starter, there's literally just two bolts in the front of the car. So there'll be a bolt, one here, and one on top. And then you just gotta remove a 10 millimeter knot to remove this harness, and there'll be one more harness right here. And there'll be just a little clip right here. It's easy to remove. And I'll show you how the starter looks. And here's the starter right here. There's just two bolts, so the starter is going to go like, like this. So this is, the starter is going, going to touch the flywheel. So there's two bolts, there's going to be a harness here, and uh, you slide in that 10 millimeter, or it's a, I think it's an 11 millimeter or 12 millimeter knot right here. You just loosen it, and you can remove those two connections. And then the, the, this harness just pops up with the little tab. Yeah, here's the starter. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, there's going to be a mount right here. This is by the driver's side, mot the motor side. This is on the, on the passenger side, sorry. This is on the passenger side. This is where the mount will mount to this and the, your transmission. And here's the mount that goes here. This is the one on the passenger side. There's going to be a mount right here. 
This is gonna go on your motor and your transmission side. So you gotta remove this mount right here. Don't forget about that. When I'm gonna go put back everything together, I'll show you what I mean. Sorry that I didn't record everything, but when I go put back everything in, I'll explain everything to you. All right, so I got my torque converter in right now. And make sure it's seated flush with the, the bell housing. So it has to be flush. It can't stick out. You got to make sure it goes in. You can't put your hand behind it. If you can, that means it's still out. You got to push it in. You got to hear that click, that clunk. Okay, and then I took out, this is a regular floor jack, which looks like this. I removed this uh, Allen key nut, and then I put a plywood, and then I screwed in some 2x4s. So now, I'm just going to push it here and jack it up all the way here to line it up. And I'm going to push in the transmission to the motor. Alright, so I got the transmission on. I got it all lined up, and I put the bolts in, so it helped me line up. So now you see, when you're going to remove the transmission, your starter is going to be right here. Remove your starter, and then you see these bolts right here, these three bolts. You can grab a ratchet, and you can spin your crankshaft bolt. Mike, can you spin it? Yeah. You can see my, my brother is going to start spinning it. You see those bolts right there? He's spinning it, and you got to find that bolt. Okay, stop, mess up. You see that? Uh, can you go down a little bit? Yeah. Th this bolt, you got to... Take these three bolts out, and then the the torque converter, you'll be able to push it. Like, it should be able to come off with the transmission. So when you remove those three bolts, the torque converter and the transmission is going to come off together. So you're going to have easy to come off. Okay, so we're getting the two bolts on top of the transmission. My brother's tightening it, and I'm going to show you from the bottom. Okay, so there's two bolts right in the back of the transmission. There's there's going to be two. I, I'm trying to show you, but it's kind of hard to show. So don't forget to remove the two bolts on top of the transmission. It's in the back. It's right below the coolant line. So make sure when you're putting it back on, the two studs, they'll go on top. Let me see if I can take a picture of it. There's one right there and there's one in the back. The two studs, and and um, also on this side, right here, there's going to be a, a mount right here. That's the mount right here. You got to remove it. It's from the motor and the uh, transmission. There's going to be a mount here that bolts to the motor. See how the transmission is lowered? I have to put it on that mount right, right there. You see this mount right here? That transmission has to connect to this mount on top right here. All right, so don't forget to get your starter back in. Put your connectors on. And then also tighten your mount, your top mount. This is your transmission mount right here on top. You can tighten it from the top. It's right below the battery. There's three bolts on top. All right, then there's this black bracket right here. This one right here. That's where the shifter thing cable goes. There's going to be a black bracket right here. I'm going to show you on the other transmission quickly. Okay, that's the that's the black bracket on top. So you see it goes right here, right where you pour your transmission fluid. The bolt will go here, and one will go right here. It's on the side, right here. That's where you take this black bracket off. And that shifter thing, this thing will slide on here, so it just clips on. I'll show it to you when, when it's on the car. Okay, we're about to put our subframe back, and we decided to change our tires. Might as well change them now, because it's going to be easier to get to. I mean, you could change it later, but right now it's good. So uh, you can actually get to them right now, and I have my, I already put the new one in. Alright, so I'm about to put the subframe back on, and make sure... Before you put it back on, just double check everything. Make sure everything's connected. We're sticking this, this is the lines that go by the front. This is the front of the transmission. These two lines will slide in here, and you gotta put the knot on. There's gonna be a knot that goes on right here. Okay, so I lowered the car as low as possible I can. I took two jacks on each side, and I was able to bring the subframe all the way up and align it with the main frame on the car. 
And don't forget, you gotta align your radiator. Your radiator sits on the subframe. So once you align this, you can start jacking it up. And you can see I jacked it up and all the bolts are lined up. So I'm about to raise the car up to finish tightening it. Okay, so tighten your rack and pinion. If you didn't loosen it, then you can just leave it. Because when you drop the subframe, you can actually ju just leave the rack and pinion on the subframe. And then don't forget to tighten your rear mount. Right here, that's your rear mount. You gotta tighten it. And don't forget to put your steering shaft back in and tighten it. Okay, so I started the car and went through the gears. And everything sounded good. I got no chick engine light or nothing. So everything seems fine right now. Also, I changed the pan gasket. I dropped the pan and I spilled the whole fluid. And I got... I got like 12 quarts out of here. I don't know why. Uh, not 12 quarts. About... Um, so I got almost like 10 quarts out of just draining this pan. So I don't know if it was overfilled or what, but... Uh, and the manual, it says it takes seven quarts. So I poured seven quarts and I opened that check valve too to check it. So once it starts pouring out, I uh, close the check valve. That was it. So I did seven quarts. 